Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons. It turns out you may get to see this picture finished after all. This is how far we've gotten so far, making great progress. So today is Saturday, January 9th, and it is wild card weekend in football. And again, I know not a lot of people care about football, and that's fine, but I do care about football. There are three games on today, but I need to film a video for tomorrow. So what does this mean? I've come up with maybe a solution. I don't know if it is or not, but it's what I'm doing, so I guess so. I'm gonna try to just color today for 12 hours straight. So, <laughs> right now it is 12.43 and I have nothing to do tomorrow so I can stay up till one o'clock and I'm excited about it. I'm just gonna watch the football games and I'm gonna color on time-lapse and I'm gonna stitch everything together. Now, I might be experimenting with editing. That is yet to be determined, but I just really want to get pages done. If you have seen my, what's that called video? Goals, I think, video for the year. I'll link that up above. I am hoping to do a low spend this year. So in order for me to get to buy books, I need to finish 10 pages. So I'm hoping to just like do a bunch of pages today. And I'm excited to try. And this might go great, this might go terrible, but you'll be here with me to find out. I'm gonna vlog in the middle, I guess. So up first, I'm gonna finish off this page, I think. It's getting to the point where I like don't have very much left, but it's like all when you accidentally miss a color and you have to switch back and forth. And that's secretly my least favorite part, but it's okay. I think I officially have one, two, three, four, five, five, six colors that I haven't used at all. And then hopefully basically everything else is done. So we will see, but I'm gonna time lapse you. I, this might not be the best angle for this book because it's so giant, but hopefully the rest of the books will be much better. And I hope you enjoy this in some way. Again, continue to give me feedback. I appreciate it and I wanna do what you wanna see. So 12.45, we're getting going. video or video page number one is complete it is now 138 so that took almost an hour again once you get down to like the little details where you have to switch back and forth between pens each time drives me nuts but I'm happy to have another page done in here that's my second page this month look at the back I love how the back looks so I think I only have like maybe 12 pages left I don't know let's count let's get some extra content up in here and investigate this situation. <clears throat> <coughs> My throat is clogged a little bit, but I am all right. Okay, so I did this page and I did this page. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 pages left in this book and it will be all finished up. Um, it's possible I will be doing more in this book this month because this is what I have been bringing to my cousins and we still have at least a week of painting left, which, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the first game up is the Bills versus Colts game and I am rooting for the Bills because my dad knows a few of the players and like I even had a retired player at our wedding from the Bills, so that's exciting. So might as well, but I'm excited if uh, the Colts win then I will be happy for Philip Rivers. So that is that on that. I figured now I would also show you how I write down and keep track of my pages because why not? So first off, I posted it. So I have these Mickey Mouse post-its I'm currently using. I got these on our honeymoon and I was gonna hoard them, but I was like, no, I'm gonna use them up. I'll probably save one or two in like a scrapbooky type notebook to like remember them, I guess. But so there you go. Like I said, I got the two for this month done in here already. I'm tossing that. I'm going to take out my bullet journal and flip to the page we need to get to. Let's see where it is. Okay, so this is my coloring goals and finishes for the month. And I guess a 
sneak peek at my haul. So I'm just gonna write down. Oh, I thought this was already number 10. <gasps> I'm so sad right now. I didn't finish anything yesterday, did I, Sam? I don't think so. Uh, so I guess you're gonna have to see at the end of the next one. But this was, what was that thing called? A Jaguar, I guess? Jaguar. Color Quest. So I write them all down and then at the end of the month, this is where I look to pick out all my books. Of course the tabs are there, but when I'm back in my office, sometimes I'll just keep them all on my cart, but sometimes I'll have to put some in the closet. So this is how I try not to forget. And also if it fulfilled any goals, I would like put a little tally next to it. Or I finished one goal this month, so I filled in the pencil. I did a Disney page that was not color by number my first one so there's that and I guess after the next update I will get to show you um what I do when I hit 10 for my credits so we'll get there after the next update which my next page hold it on I am going to be finishing up a page in Woodland Wonder by Jen Racine I am I started this guy and this is a color a buddy color with Shayna from Shayna in Colorland so ugh, I did really bad at the bottom here and you can see all the lines from the alcohol marker I have trouble getting around small bits with my alcohol marker but Oh well. So for this, I am using my alcohol markers, like I've been saying. So my Cali Arts, and it's gonna be a pretty simple page. Like I'm pretty close to done. The speed color might be about 10 seconds, but we'll see. I'm chugging along and getting those numbers up because I want to do some shopping soon. So let's see if I can adjust that any better. Maybe, maybe. Okay. So I'll see you after this page. <laughs> Page number two is done. I'm gonna give you the update that I wanted to give you in the last segment now. Again, that was probably super, super quick because I already had most of it done, but I'm happy to have another page. It is 2.03, so we're moving along. That was only like 15, 20 minutes. That's gonna be the quickest segment. All right, sorry to keep rambling. I may be trying to like edit my time lapses a little bit to make them longer. I'm not positive because on one hand, I like them quick and snappy, I like to go, go, go. But on the other hand, if they're too short, a 12 hour video is gonna end up, or a 12 hour vlog is gonna end up being like a 10 minute video. And that seems silly. So let's go through again. Since this was a buddy color on the tag, I'll put with Shayna and if it was somebody I was just buddy coloring with for the first time I would probably put their whole name right on there so it's easier to credit them when I do my finished video of the month but at this point Shayna and I have buddy colored a whole bunch so I will remember her and let's see Woohoo! look at that back looking good I hope I didn't go through that looks really cool I like it but Oh, it looks creepy, his eyeball. Hold on. Very distracting. Look at that. A little creepy. So, we're in the second quarter of the game. Sam is actually out picking up lunch. So, I will be taking a lunch break soon. We're being naughty, I guess, and having some Taco Bell, which I am super excited about. Now, let's do what I wanted to do last time. All right, all right. So this was page number 10 for the month. We did it. This was Deer Rabbit Woodland Buddy Color. So that is what I write. It does not fill any of my goals. So I will then go to the back of my book and to my coloring book credit page. And again, if you didn't see that video, I give myself one credit 
per every 10 pages colored. So that way, if I'm coloring a whole ton, then it makes sense to buy some more books. But if I'm not coloring a lot, then it doesn't make sense. So now that it's book number 10, what I'm going to do is pick one of these randomly and outline it in my color of the month. So as you can see, my color of the month is this dark blue. I actually use two fine liners every month in my journal and I use one highlighter. So right now this month is dark blue and this like dusty purple. And then my highlighter is another dark blue. I don't know why, but I always think of blue for January. I guess like the winter vibes, things like that. So now that is colored in in the dark blue, or I mean outlined, which means I have earned that credit. These are all in pencil that I just kind of did for spacing. And as you can see, there is room for tons more. So in theory, if I go go ham and color so, so much and every month is like August of 2020, then I will have a lot of room to write in more credits. But now that's gonna stay there in blue. And then when I ever do make my next coloring book purchase, I'm going to fill it in in whatever that month's color is. So if I make it this month, I will fill it in in dark blue. And I'm also going to keep a list where I keep if I bought it myself, if it was gifted to me, or if I receive it for review. And I just kind of want to see how many books come to me in a year. Because again, last year, I had months that I did great, and I really didn't purchase anything. And then I had months where I did terrible. And in November, I think I got like 45 books, which was incredibly overwhelming. So that's my plan. That's what's going on. And I'm excited. Next up. Ugh. I think I am going to start on another buddy color. We will see. This is Chibi Girls. I'm buddy coloring with Angelina, who is Dream Cloud 5. I'm not sure. I will link it down below. I'm going to do better at that. I keep saying I am and then I don't, but I'm gonna, I swear. So she wanted to buddy color with me out of this book. I have limited options while I'm in this room and we're gonna do this cool motorcycle chick. Yes. Um, I actually got to pick the three this time instead of the final one and I tried to pick ones that I normally wouldn't lean towards. So I'm really excited that she picked this one because like it wouldn't have been my next choice, but I'm happy it is, if you know what I'm saying. So I have no idea what's gonna go on, but I'm almost definitely gonna use Cali Arts again, possibly bring out my glitter gel pens. We will see, but as you're gonna see today especially, all of my pages are going to be pretty straightforward because again, I am not in my office and I am working with very limited space. So that's what's gonna happen. We're just gonna do some fun straight color and get things done and I'm excited I'm excited maybe we can earn a whole credit today do you think we can get 10 pages done just today honestly I kind of hope not that's too much but we will see so it is 208 again I'm gonna start this but then once Sam gets back I'm gonna take a lunch break maybe I'll pop in maybe I won't who knows but yes let's roll <laughs> Another one done. So it is 346. We're officially three hours in to our challenge and this is our third page done, right? So I think we're chugging along real nice. I think I'm gonna owe Angelina another buddy color though because I like just went out of the lines everywhere. I actually covered it up pretty good with my white gel pen around the clouds and my glitter gel pen, but I feel like everything's a mess. You can still see some of it. I don't know what was happening to me. So I apologize for that. I hope you can see some of the glitter. Again, I used Cali Art markers and then I did Arteza white gel pen around the clouds. I just got these, this is a spoiler, but I've heard really good things about them and I'm actually really pumped and I think they do work really well. And I think you can tell that most of the line is covered and when I'm coloring not on camera, I'll be able to get like much closer to what I'm doing and make sure I'm getting all those details. 
but I like them so far. And then I did some extra glitter and just sprinkled it around a little bit. So I like to do glitter on the seams of the clothes to, I don't know, give it a little sparkle and shine. So I did some pink on pink and then I did some green on green and I think you can see it. And yes, I did a bunch of silver. So I definitely, this was definitely a fun and different one, but I think that's what happens with me in these books is they all come out different. I wanted her to be like a neon bombshell was what I was going for. This was supposed to be a little bit brighter pink and it turned a little bit red, but I still like it. And that's like the one thing that I've been learning with the grayscale books especially is that you can leave some spots just without coloring them so i did not color in those handles not every detail needs to be colored because i think that with the grayscale you think you need to cover every little bit and then it gets really dark really quick so yes you don't okay so now i have two choices for what's next i think i'm going to make a mess let's see what we can do I didn't have the next book out and ready. So my monopod is wiggling everywhere. I think I am going to do a page in a trompe l'oeil, which is the optical illusions. So another one of my challenges this month. Ooh, actually, let me, what, ah! All right, all right, we're okay. So right on here, I actually got Angelina's name really close. It's actually Dream Cloud 51, and I said Dream Cloud 5. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So I'm just gonna put her name and then her at. I don't think she has a YouTube, so I'll investigate before the video. But, so I put that on there and then I put this on there and then I chuck the whole book onto the bed. Goodbye book. So this one I will call Biker Chibi. Makes sense. Biker Chibi. Cool. So, yes, what I was going to say is another one of my goals for the month slash year, slash year, blah, 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 is I would really like to rewatch all of the Disney animated movies and I might try to also color all of the Disney animated movies. We'll see. So for this month, I made my goal five Disney color by numbers and I made my goal to watch these 10 movies if I can. I've already watched and colored Wreck-It Ralph and now I recently watched Big Hero 6. So I probably will color a page from Big Hero 6 and I'm pretty sure I have a few choices in here, which is the Optical Illusions book. This is like tomb one of the Optical Illusions. So I'm not gonna tell you which one I'm gonna do. You're probably gonna see it in my, like I always peek at the answers as I'm going to make sure I'm coloring right. But if not, you'll see it come to life in the next little bit. So I think, ouch, I, did this and it hurt but I think we're doing good on time because obviously you don't want a 12 minute or 12 hour video from me just the vlog style so I don't know if I'm gonna need to fidget with all of my speed colorings but I might try to have to fidget and figure out how to put music over all of them so we're in the last quarter of game one so we got two games left so I'm just gonna jump right into the next <laughs> Voila, look at that. All right, let's see, it is 516. I've slowed down a little bit, but I'm happy, I like it. If you did not know, this is Fred from Big Hero 6. Also, speaking of Fred, did anybody else know there is a post-credit scene in Big Hero 6? Because I did not, but I discovered that with my cousin when we watched the other day. So, 
if you have Disney Plus, you should go to that post credit scene and check it out. So here it is. Here we go. 5.16. We ate lunch pretty late, so we probably have a while to go till that. Um, oh, let's mark this baby off. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is everything? It's a little bit difficult to keep track of my stuff in my teeny tiny corner. So post it applied. Then we got book. There's actually a few extra steps with this one, so that's exciting. So we got Fred, color by number, and that is our first Disney color by number of the month, so I just put a little tally up there. I also colored for Big Hero 6, so I'm gonna mark that off there. Then, all the way in the back here, I got the list. So again, I colored for Big Hero 6, whoosh. And my goal is to do 50 Disney color by numbers this year. So we finished number one. So again, I just do a different highlighter every month. So at the end of the year or whenever, I can go back in here and be like, okay, well, dark blue was January, so I did one page then. So hopefully it'll be all filled out with all different colors. I haven't decided if I'm going to randomly fill these out or fill them out in order. Um, I guess I filled the first two out like this, but that's fine. There's still lots of month to go. I don't remember if I updated about the football games either. So the Bills won, which was exciting. And now it's the Rams versus the Seahawks. And I do not care about this game at all. So I'm I'm rooting for the Rams because the Seahawks are birds. And I don't like birds. But I really couldn't care less. And also this is Troy Aikman and Joe Buck announcing. And I hate them a lot. So, cool. It's fine though because then we'll like have dinner later during this game and all that good stuff. But that is my update. Let's show you what's next, maybe. Where is the next book? Oh, I see it, that's where it went. Next up, I'm doing a buddy color in A Million Mermaids by Lulu Mayo with Christy from Christy. Uh oh, Crafting with Christy, that's her. That's her name and she picked this one. I think I'm going to use my whole binds, which I'm excited for because I haven't really used them yet to complete a page. So that should go well. And I might for now take a break and charge my phone a little bit, get some water, stretch my legs, but then we'll be back at it again. Doing good so far. <laughs> good oops I tapped everything look at that can you mute for a second Sammy sorry look at that beautiful super shiny I really like it so I use my Holbein's and this was basically the first ever page I finished with my Holbein's and I used some color glitter gel which is why I'm making it sparkle at you oh my goodness wiggle wiggle so as you can see i'm super out of practice with my pencils so my blending isn't great or anything like that but i'm just happy to have used them and i think it's cute i really enjoyed it because i like this color was called sand and then this was called cherry blossoms and this was called coral so i thought i was being cheeky this was aqua with like using the colors for what they should be used for, I guess, is what you want to say. But yes, it is now 727. So we're almost seven hours into our 12. We have five hours left. Um, I will admit that I took some time off and played some VR because it's still so new that it's addicting. And I'm about to take a little more time off for dinner. And then I'm not really sure what I'm coming at you coming at you with next is that how you say it i don't know i don't have my next page picked so i guess you're gonna find out when my speed coloring starts but i hope you're enjoying this so far i'm enjoying getting all this done i'm feeling pretty good so see you in the next speed color the mystery begins now
back. Okay, so as you saw, I decided what we needed was some Sam in our video. Because if we're sitting here for 12 hours, you know who else is? Sam. <laughs> so, we did a split color. And you saw me do my half. So, I'm about to tape. Uh oh I missed. Tape them together. I'm like taping around the monopod. And, and then reveal. Say hello, Sam. Hello. Okay, ready? So he picked a, like, it, basically like a bird watching page. And I was like, oh, birds. And she's like, oh, we could be watching for other animals. And I was like, this is such a boring page. So he said, it's up to you to make it not boring. And I said, all right, bet. Challenge accepted. So let's see what happened. Ready? Ready? Mm -mm. Wow. Oh, I like yours a lot. But, huh? Yeah. And you decided we're living in Dr. Seuss land. Yes, a truck full of trees. Mm -hmm. Like, what was? What is this effect? And like, why is it so effective? I don't know. I just put the lighter color where the darker color should be. Because mm. I don't understand what colors I'm using. <laughs> and I like your uh, blazing sun. Yeah, it's a hot day. Is it snow capped? Yep. Okay. So there we go. So this is our first split color of the month. So I'm excited we did that. Of the year. Oh my gosh, of the year. Of the year. So next up, I am doing a buddy color with Emily from 50 Miniatures. Nope, 50 Winter Miniatures from Amelia Andrakova. But for now, I'm also having some ice cream. Um, I'm exposing myself, but I make a disgusting ice cream concoction, which is basically vanilla ice cream and white rice and graham crackers. And... It sounds disgusting, but it's delicious. It's basically like rice pudding now, and I like it a lot. So, and I also have to charge my watch. So, it is 8.42. We are eight hours in, four hours to go. I'm hoping to get two or three pages done, but I'm going to charge my watch, eat my ice cream, and then speed color for the next page. So, hopefully this is working out. I'm having a good time. Football game number three started. First of all, I'm two for two with picking teams for the first two games, which is shocking. Usually the teams lose out of spite. I don't know how they know to spite me, but they always seem to know. So this game, I'm very on the fence because I think I want to root for Washington because I don't want to root for Tom Brady. But Washington is who beat the Giants, kind of. Again, they all sucked so bad. So I think I'm going for Washington. So we'll keep you posted as game three goes and as our coloring continues. <laughs> another page <laughs> so i finished this guy who uh i did this as buddy color with emily from color me impressed and she picked this page and i was like i don't really know how to color snow and she's like just leave it white and i was like okay but i just glittered it because when you don't know what to do you just throw glitter on it and i used my iridescent medium from Liquitex. This is a ginormous bottle. I don't know if you saw in the time lapse because it goes so fast. All I do is I shake it and then I take the lid off and then that's more than enough for any single page, whatever's left in the lid. So that is how I do it. I used to like squeeze some out, but I would always get so much extra than I needed that I would be like trying to scoop it back in and you'd lose some. I really want to pop that bubble. Oop. Okay. But yeah, there's tons and tons and tons and tons i probably will never need another bottle of this again unless i like spill it somehow i originally got it to attempt to make my own wink of stella so like i got a brush specifically for it but i don't know what happened my maybe my ratios weren't right or something so i just used my water brush and i enjoy doing that because then whatever i paint next will also be super glittery and i've never actually thought of mixing this in with other paint which is what is for so one day i'll do that too but for now it makes very pretty snow 
It's hard to tell, of course, but I can tell in person and it's super sparkly. It just looks wet on camera, but you know, you know, it is still wet because I just did it, so. Next up, I think I'm actually doing another Disney page because my friend Audrey, who I buddy color with Disney all the time, is ready to do a page and it might be from that same book. So she's picking which movie we're doing and I'll do that next. We are up to, again now my phone, we're up to 9.30. So we have three hours left. I'm burning out the tiniest bit. So we will see, I might take a Beat Saber break. This is what, page number six? I think so. I think this was page number six. So I might take a tiny Beat Saber break because I am addicted to that game and then jump into the next one and we'll see how long the next one takes. That might be the end for the night or I might start something knowing I won't finish it because I feel like when I'm doing quick pages, I like need to finish, need to finish. But if I do like a really long page, then I can just take my time with it. I don't know if that makes sense, but on to the next. <laughs> Surprise! So, if you saw, I started off, or I was, working on this guy from Coco. I think he's just the accountant at the beginning. I don't know if he has his own name, but I was starting to burn out, and I was like, I can't burn out. We've made it so far. I'm going to finish this challenge. So, I decided to do a page from my favorite book, Yippie Kawaii. It is super glittery. Ooh, that's a good angle. Ooh, yeah. So lots of sparkle going on. I really wanted to do like a very blue theme page, as you can see, um, because I had recently done a few like yellowy or orangier ones. So we have made it up to 11.55. We're getting so close, but I need to try and stand up and show you, oh, there's a mask on the floor. Fun, whoa. Show you what we're dealing with here literally almost fell down so my my space is kind of getting out of control with all all what we've done today right miss noodles 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 don't side eye just look at me straight on noodles 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 noodles, noodles. she's very stubborn but oh get out of here you look right hey girl how you doing you haven't slept enough all day Likely. All right. So, yeah, the uh, effects of my day are kind of all over. I have, like, critters everywhere. It's a... So, I have to clean up, and I'm also going to change into my pajamas. My computer's up there. So, we will see. It might be time to clean up and wrap up because I don't know if I can handle anything else. But I had a really good day, so I will be right back after I organize a bit, and I will wrap up for you and show you everything. All right, guys, so technically it is only 1216, so I'm half an hour short of my coloring for 12 hours, but I'm gonna review everything I did today, and then I'm also going to probably edit for an hour, so I feel like that still counts towards this video and this vlogging experience. So I'm gonna go through, and I didn't document the last few, so I'm gonna do that when I need to. But I started off with Color Quest, and I finished my second page for the month in here, which I don't even know how to show you because this book is so big and I don't wanna hit my monopod. But it is this Jaguar. Now I have 12 pages left in this book, so we're getting close. Again, I'm probably gonna continue working on this, maybe another page or two this month, if I can manage it because 
why not? I don't know. So there was that one. Happy to get that done. I had started that before today, though. I had also started before today this guy. This feels like weeks ago at this point. Obviously, for you, it's been like half an hour. But for me, it's been like 12 hours. So that's a big difference. And it feels like forever. And this was a buddy color with Shayna from Shayna in Colorland. And I think it's super cute. I really like how it turned out. The colors... Like it went from really monochrome and then just kind of like pops all over. So I don't know, but overall I like it. And I think I'm really like honing in my style. Actually, let me show you a little sneak peek. This book has doubles and I originally did this and I didn't like it. And I don't know why, like it's not too different, but I think it was too bright. I don't know what happened. It went off the rails. So I did this instead. So I'm happy to have doubles. This was one time that I've used them to my advantage. And next up, now these are not in order of when I did them anymore, but obviously did them all today. This is from, what did I just, A Million Mermaids by Lulu Mayo. This was my buddy color with Christy from Crafting with Christy. Look at that sparkle. I really like it. This was my essentially first time using my whole binds and I enjoyed them too. Um, I don't know if they were like magical, like I was expecting somehow, but I really love that they're pastel and I really love a lot of the colors. And in fact, I was coloring and I was like, oh no, you can't see this color at all. But then on camera you can. And like once I was done, I was like, oh, you can, that's good. So I'm happy that that happened. Also, those gel pens, can you see my hand sparkling? Yes, I love it. So there's that page. I don't know if I wrote this one down. I forgot about my writing things down game. Let's see. Mermaid in Shell. Okay, I did. So that might be the last one I wrote down. Next is this page from Chibi Girls Grayscale I did with Angelina, who again is DreamCloud51 on Instagram. I got so close. So this is my like I can't think of a synonym for badass, so I'm gonna say that. She's my badass neon biker chick. I apologize. <laughs> apparently, now that we're here, I apparently cursed in my last video and I did not even notice, so I apologize if that was a surprise for you because usually I can control myself or at least I will be like, oh no, what have I done? But I didn't even know that I did it, so whoopsie doodle, but yeah, this is my biker, and I think she came out real cool. But also, I went outside the lines everywhere because I was watching football. So, <laughs> next was a buddy color with Emily, and haha, this one I did not post it. First of all, in my speed color, did you notice when I noticed that I didn't put a blotter page and now have ruined these puppies' heads? I'm very sad. Honestly, like, I don't think this is ruined, ruined. I'm sure I'll be able to figure something out, but I'm sad because nobody wants to do that to their puppies. Nah. I'm not gonna rip it out, but I'm also not gonna like do it right now. I'm just, whenever I get to that page, I'll get to it. But I did these snow people and they're super glittery. Again, it looks better in person as glitter always does, but I like it. I like it a lot. I just love Camelia Angelkova and these books. And here we go with our post-its, so with Emily. Again, if it's a new friend, I usually put their channel or Instagram handle right on that post-it too, but with people, color me impressed, I know her name at this point. We've buddy colored a few times, so I just put her name and I'll understand. And then that's also Snow People. Camelia Angelkova. Cool. Is that anything else? Oh, I'm also counting this as a Christmas page. I don't know. I think it's a Christmas page. Hopefully you do too. Next is my split color with Samuel. Say hello, Samuel. Hello. <laughs> He's waiting for me to be done so he can put sound back on. But we did this possible bird watcher but possible um, Sneetches, is that the star belly people from Dr. Seuss? Sam? Yeah. Because if I'm in Dr. Seuss world, maybe she's looking for Sneetches. Sure. So, 
Yeah, yeah, that's my truffle of trees. I really like, like this ended up coming out super neon. So I wish I used this color on my biker chick, but post it here. And then we gotta do, what are we calling this? Uh, Dr. Seuss split. I'll know what that means. And then that is one split color. So I'll tab you up there too. Whoosh. All right. Then I did not end up finishing this page, which is unfortunate, but I did the outlining, which is half the battle. So I will be able to finish this up soon. I don't know about tomorrow because I think my hands are going to swell. I also played a lot of um, Oculus today and my hands are mad. So we'll see what we do. There's also another three football games tomorrow. So that's kind of my plan with that. But I did that much of that one. And then I did do Fred. So I wrote Fred down. I wrote Fred down. I did Fred. There he is. I really like it because I really like the purple background, his nice bold colors. I like this book a lot because overall it tends to be um, less shading and things like that, if that makes sense. Oh, Noodles is ready to go out with her papa. Like, it tends to be just solid blocks of color, so which I like a lot. So I have a lot done in here. So that's that. <clears throat> and uh, finally, I just finished this one. This was a surprise at the end to even me. I did this page, Movie Madness, from Yippie Kawaii, from Fun Usual Suspects, which I would call movie kawaii sure beautiful and i really like it i really wanted to do some blues and yellows and that's what i did so yes how many pages does that make one two three four five six seven eight finished pages and one in progress i think i think that's a pretty good day I don't know about you guys. So let me know what you like the most, which page you like the most. And also a weird disclaimer, and it doesn't make sense to do this at the end, but I've had people comment like, oh man, I wish I had that much time, or I wish I did this, I wish I do that. Uh, I wish I like could do whatever I wanted. And I just wanna put it out there that is rude. <laughs> so, um, you don't know anybody's situation and why they have so much time. But I'll tell you, for me today, I've had a very stressful week. So my plan was going to be to sit and watch these football games, especially during all this pandemic. I'm not going out and doing anything fun. So I was going to be sitting and watching these football games, and I decided to film for you as a little bonus. Um, if it wasn't for filming, I probably would have colored, but probably maybe like two or three pages. I probably would have just like sat scrolling on my computer or something. So for me, this turned into a productive day because I got a video done for you guys. I'm probably premiering this and I have no idea how long it is. So I have no idea if anyone's still here with me. But if you did manage to make it to the end, thank you so, so much for sticking around, watching, supporting me, all that jazz. Please say popcorn, popcorn, <laughs> and yeah, uh, if you like this video, subscribe. I'm a fun time. Comment down below anything you want to comment. Um, do you want me to do this again one day? I don't know when that day will be, but maybe one day, and yeah, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you again in two days with something different. Bye, guys.